Hi friends, just to take a recap of what we had studied in the previous lecture, we had understood that there are 78 cards in the tarot deck out of which 22 are the major arcana cards and 56 are the minor arcana cards which are further divided into the 40 cards which form the suit cards starting from ace to ten in each suit each of the four suits the four suits that we had discussed were the wands the suit of cups swords and lastly the suit of pentacles so 40 cards forming the minor arcana along with 16 more cards which are also belonging to the suits but they are studied separately and categorized separately as the court cards. In case you would like to see that video again, the link is mentioned in the description box below. For those of you who would like to take personal tarot readings or classes you may contact us at the.zazen.space at the rate gmail.com If you would like to be a tarot card reader or you would like to watch such courses regularly either beginners or intermediate or advanced detailed tarot courses you can subscribe to our channel you can also hit the notification bell so that you keep getting the update or as and when the videos are being uploaded and you can watch the lectures regularly so having understood the basic structure of the tarot deck and the minor arcana in this lecture we will understand what the suit of wands is all about now as you can see on your screen over here you can count if you like there are 14 cards out of these 14 cards these cards the seven on top and the three here you see they are growing in number the number of wands in each card is growing in number so here where you see one wand on the card it keeps increasing by one so in the two of wands you see two wands in the three of wands you see three wands and so on and so forth until you reach the ten of wands now this happens so in the rider weight deck Subsequently, once you have understood the Rider Waite deck and you advance to further decks, you may not see all the rods or batons on each card. So uh, the wands, uh, I, I should tell you, the wands suit is also known as rods or batons. So you may not see all in another deck. You, may, you do not need to get confused about it. The meaning remains the same, pretty much the same. Unless and until you are reading with a completely different deck. So uh, those are the 10 cards and then these 4 are the court cards. But all of them come under the suit of wands. Because the essence of the wands, the quality of the wands is maintained whether they are from ace of wands to ten of wands or they are the four court cards namely the page of wands, the knight of wands, then the queen of wands here or the king of wands. These four cards we will set aside for now, we will study them under the court cards. But if you look at all these cards together, just observe the cards quietly for a few brief seconds and try and get a feeling of what is happening in the cards. 
what is the energy that you pick up what are you sensing from here a lot of you may have been able to sense a lot of energy a lot of action in the cards we had also discussed in our previous lecture that the beach mantra to be remembered for the wand suit is karma or action and since action is all about the uh, you know the movement that is why this denotes the fire energy the fire tatva or the fire element now what all does the suit of wands represent for us it is a suit of your action of course now when it we talk about actions what else comes to our mind when we act on something we develop whatever we are working on so development we advance if you are working in our career we advance so it shows advancement also when we work on something that grows which we are working on we also experience growth so it is also a suit of growth now when we work on something we need some amount of creative ability so it is also about creative endeavors also when we work on something we need to have ideas so it is also a suit of ideas along with as we had seen in the previous lecture even the swords represent ideas but there is a difference between the ideas represented by the suit of wands and those represented by the suit of swords because the suit of swords represents ideas in the mind it is like that spark it's that uh, you know that sudden thought that you have which is very creative or witty but the ideas in the suit of wands are ideas put into action or it is an idea about how to act how to be creative so all of this happens when the wands is working positively the energy of the wand suit is working positively now if we look at the cards over here in front of us we some we we get a very positive vibe here we also see that the positivity is extended here you can feel it it's pleasant to look at so when we are learning the meanings of cards individually follow the look and feel here also we get a positive feeling a positive feeling so there is a lot of positivity here but what happens when wands becomes negative when how first uh, before when let us discuss how it becomes negative when karma becomes negative it can become negative either because the karma has gone wrong the thought behind the action has gone wrong the intention behind the action has gone wrong or else in the other case the karma or the action is too much to handle it is in excess then also it becomes negative so when the uh thought behind the action or the intention behind it has gone wrong then what do we get we get conflicts we get wrong results not desired results on the other hand when we have too much karma to take care of too much action then there could be opposition there could be opposition from others or else there could be a feeling of being overburdened 
when everything in the want suit is developing smoothly we see speedy developments we see positive developments we see victory a lot of those things you will be able to see and spot in these cards here i will not reveal all that right now i am leaving that for you to look at the cards and guess which card could represent what we will discuss that when we talk about the individual cards right now look at the cards and try and get a feeling because uh, the tarot deck is a lot about the feeling that you get within you look at a card and you may observe something which somebody else will not observe that observation personal observation is important you need to be uh, in tune and attuned to that guidance that you are receiving tarot is also a lot about reading with intuition so coming back to uh, what could happen when things go wrong if the fire energy is working in a positive way then it is illuminating things it is giving us warmth but when fire energy goes out of control it can burn things and it can destroy things completely so now what does this mean for us in a reading what does it mean just to get a brief idea about what happens when the wands cards come up when we are doing a reading for someone so we will be pulling out cards and the cards will be pulled out randomly whether the wands come come up in the read cards come up in the reading or not they come less they come more or they come balanced everything has a signification everything has a meaning and an inference when there are enough wand cards in a reading it tells us that there is action enough action is taking place it also tells us that the person for whom our subject for whom we are uh, doing the reading has the ability to act upon things on the other hand when we see lack of wand cards then it is something to worry about why because the person could be lazy maybe the person's uh, personal environment or personal circumstances are such that they are inhibiting him from taking action he is not being able to act upon his thoughts and ideas we will of course have to see all the cards uh, in totality we will have to see the other cards also to really come to a conclusion on as to uh, why uh, such a thing is happening sometimes some of you may feel that okay now uh, the suit of wands has not come up in a reading but the question was about love and relationships but we have to understand that anything and everything requires action and work in the material world if there is love but then there is no action upon the love so we need to look at things in totality now what happens when the wands cards become in excess in a reading we see a lot of wand cards pop up it could either mean that there is a lot of action happening it could also mean reckless behavior it could mean someone who is hyperactive the person cannot sit without taking action or you may have seen people who are so um, restless or so the moment something comes they immediately have to take action they can't uh, you know they don't have the patience to sit think think of the repercussions no click and action that's it action taken so all these things can be signified but you have to look at the context you have to look at the question you have to look at the readings you have to look at the wand cards and then you have to look at the other cards nothing happens in isolation you have to see everything in totality 
so in the reading the suit of wands which also signifies laborers the workers even the working class anybody who's employed uh, will have uh, the wands representing their work place work force etc uh of course anybody who is not employed also but then primarily it signifies this so when this comes up in a reading it will talk about the ambition of the person it uh, it will give us an indication about the career the creative endeavors the uh, ability to the will to create okay now the person has uh, uh the thought b- behind something does he have the will or the intention to create does he have the creative urge does he have the imagination to be able to put to put things to work into action uh also does the person have uh, you know the uh, is the person able to bring their dreams convert them into reality that is also shown by the one suit now the positive attributes on the one hand being enthusiasm being determination passion on the other hand in the negative we have seen that reckless behavior and when there is reckless behavior there can also be disappointment there can be things gone wrong there can be failure where there was victory in the positive there can be failure in the negative so all of these are seen in a reading with the wands card sorry wands suit so friends this was about the suit of wands if you have any doubts if you have any questions please feel free to post them in the comments section below you can also uh, share your feedback in the comments section below so that we can make the videos in a way that uh, tarot reading and tarot cards are both very easy for you to understand also if you feel you have missed out something or you would like to uh, kind of you know get this settled into your mind and almost kind of memorize it you can watch the video again since this was an overview of the complete suit of wands in the individual card videos we will be studying what each card means individually so we will be taking up one card at a time ace of wands two of wands and we will understand what it means individually and what it means when it comes up in a reading uh but for now we will move on to the uh to understand the next suit which is the suit of cups this is the second suit in our uh rider weight tarot deck in the minor arcana so let us now move on to the next video